Finnish Refugee Council started its first functional adult literacy program in March 2021 in Ethiopia with the financial support from the Ministry for Foreign Affairs of Finland. The course started in Gambella region that hosts more than 350,000 South Sudanese refugees in seven camps and host communities to support them towards a new beginning through literacy skills. In October, FRC together with the community partners and UNHCR and ARA celebrated the graduation of the first group of learners. Education for all, which is at the heart of FRC's strategy, appears to be particularly relevant for adult South Sudan refugees, among whom estimated literacy rate is approximately 30%. According to different sources, women are illiterate more often than men. Functional Adult Literacy Fall Project, under the title Functional Adult Literacy for Enhanced Refugee Resilience in Gambella Region, Ethiopia, has been implemented by FRC. It is for adult learners from refugee and host communities. The course is designed in the learner's own language, Anua and Nuer, to provide the best learning potential and to fulfill the objective of the project. Literacy and numeracy skills together with technical skills adopted to the context where the learners live have the potential of positively transforming their lives into a new beginning. The course focuses especially on supporting women and persons with disabilities. In addition to the basic reading, writing, and simple numeric skills, the file courses are also includes topics on health and hygiene, agriculture, environmental protection, self-protection, which help the learner to change their behavior. Yes, Lloyd, Kabang, Tinchan, Kama, Katin, De, Latka, Kiatin, De, Latka, Ra, Ewen, Minche, Shar, Kukida, De, Latka, Tada, Kia, De, Latka, Kukida, Lam, Minche, Nyoada. At the beginning of the program, there was no single learning space for FAL courses. However, in cooperation with ARA and UNHCR, Finnish Refugee Council has secured existing learning space on the three zones found in Jewe Refugee Camp. To accommodate more learners for the course and to ensure COVID-19 related health measures, FRC has built four temporary learning space and child-friendly space for lactating mothers. This means 16 learning classrooms where 30 adult learners are assigned for for each room. During the project, FRC, in cooperation with UNHCR and ARA, has also constructed a community center to be used for learning groups, other trainings, and community meetings in Jawaikam. Despite delays in the start of the project due to COVID-19, FRC's first file course was conducted for six months, targeting a total of 1,200 learners. Out of them, 1,111 women and 70 were persons with disabilities. 75% of the learners were in Jawe camp and 25% in the surrounding host communities. After six months of fall courses, 1,117 learners have graduated and 1,043 of them women and 59 of them persons with disabilities. FRC has implemented different innovative approaches to raise awareness on adult education in the target communities and to ensure equal participation. Among the many fruitful approaches, house-to-house visits were conducted by the learners themselves and the community-based peer facilitators have contributed a lot in reducing absenteeism and dropout of the course. This has paved the way for the adult learners to strengthen their social cohesion and sense of community. To ensure the sustainability of the FAL program, 36 functional adult literacy peer facilitators were selected from Jawe refugee camp and host community. They were trained on inclusive adult education, capacity building, and related educational policies with the help of inclusive education expert. Among these fall peer facilitators, three are women and three are persons with disabilities. FRC has given eyeglass to the visual impairment. FRC has given share wheelchair to the disabled people. FRC has constructed the school for the other learner. FRC has also teach an illiterate to be literate people. With the celebration of the graduation of the first learning groups, FRC is looking forward to expanding the inclusive adult education courses together with partners in Gambela. <laughs> Ta-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-